welcome back and today I want to take you through Tecla structures interoperability. This is where I mean how Tecla uh, can interface with the commerces. And uh, if you take a look on the screen here, you can see I have a small footbridge uh, and I want to show you how we can uh, take this to a commerces environment. So I want just to show you how Tecla structures communicate with commerces. So if you have a model in Tecla structures, and you find some somehow there's some tools in commerces that will be helpful and uh, you want to take this to commerces uh, there's uh, there's a way on how the these two softwares communicate now if you take, uh, we have this we have the model in place so i want to take this model to commerces and to do that there is a small software called uh, uh, tecla io that uh, interface that help in uh, in in the, in the communication between Tecla structures and commerces. So I want to select everything here. I want to select all everything in uh, in this model here, like that. Or you just press Control and everything will be selected. Now once you you've done so, I want to just to take you. Through, I want just to enable this software. This is Tecla structures. I Tecla IO. This this is software that help in, 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 in between the communication between Tecla structures and uh, and commerces. So I want to just to double click on, on that. So once I've opened that, now uh, we'll give it some time to open. So the moment it's opened, let me just check whether it's opened. There it is. So if I, if I click on that, I'll be able to see I have Tecla IO version 1.1893. Now, I want to take this to commerces, and uh, in the background, commerces is also open. So from this button, I have, from this window, I have two buttons, import and export. I can also use the same, same tool to bring in uh, modeling commerces inside Tecla structures and, and, uh, and vice versa. Vice versa, I mean, you can, I, I can also take it from Tecla structures back to Commerces. Now, I, I, uh, once I've selected everything like this, I'm going to click on and on export. So once I've clicked on export, I'll just give some time to get the communication or the instructions right. So the moment this dialog box open or this window open, I'm requested to give a name to that particular model. I'm, I intend to uh, to export to Tecla structure. Uh, I mean, to Commerces environment from Tecla structures. Now. Within here, we are within Commerce's projects. So I want to give it a name here. Uh, I can as well just give it maybe FBR, FBR, FBR maybe two like that, or maybe two, three like that. I mean for bridge 23 like that. So once I've done so, this is file is saved as SDFX file. So this will be, uh, Commerce will be able to read this uh, file and uh, we, uh, and be able to display to us uh, a model that has been brought from Tecla structures environment. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to save it under uh, Commerce's projects here. So once I've saved in Commerce's projects here, I'll be able now to open or uh, open to Commerce's and uh, just import it into into Commerce's environment. So I'm going to save this as FBR 2023. I'm going to go ahead and click uh, save that. So I've given some time to uh, file everything. So I'm being asked here. Uh, selection is uh, is 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 present in the model. Do you want to export selected only? Yes, I'll I'll give it an OK and give it yes. So from there, all, all the all all the information will be bound will be bound together and be, will be exported to Commerce. So we just give some time for that process to take place. Now, if you take a look on the screen here, you can see we have we are done. And if I just scroll down, you'll be able to see all the communication here. And you, can, you can see the uh, the log the log summary. We have all, all those details. We have balls sixty eight out of sixty eight balls, and we have frames twenty one of twenty one, and we have cards. All the all those information is available. And creation creation date uh, is given there. Export completed successfully on that date and that time also indicated. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch to commerce so that we can bring in the model that has been exported from Tecla structures 
using the interfacing uh, software called Tecla IO. This is, this is software that int, help in the communication between, between Tecla structures and commerces. So let's switch back to commerces window. So let me, for, for that case, let me just minimize this and uh, I'll come to commerces. So I'll just uh, click on commerces right here. I have commerces already opened. So I'll give some time to set up and uh, I'll go to file and uh, I'll start importation of, of of the model from uh, from Tecla structures. So I'll just give it some time. So in here, I have uh, I have a file. I'll, I'll go to file here. So under file, I'll click on file right there. So under file, I'll come to import and export. So if I click on import uh, on import and export, I'll go straight to CDFX CDFX file because the file that was exported from Tecla structures was indeed format. So I'll go straight to CDF, CDFX file right there. So from there, I'm going to, I'll, I'll come to this dump, dump import uh, dialog box. So from, uh, and I'll go straight to click on this button right here. And uh, I'll pick on that. I'll click on it. And this will take me to the, the directory of where the, the, uh, the exportation has been saved and it has been saved into a commerce project here. So I'll just scroll down until I get the name right here. Now I'll select the name of the of the, of the model that uh, the model that I had exported to commerce, then click open right there. So I'll give it some time to bring it in uh, from table structures. So once I've done so, I'll go ahead and click import. I'll give some time to load everything on uh, on commerce's window. So I have some instructions here. Following profile cross sections are already defined in the database. Uh, select once you want to replace from import file. So although we have these on the, in the database of of, of commerce, so I'll just give it, uh, I'll just give it an OK to continue. I don't want to replace that. So again, with the following materials already defined in the model, I select the ones you want to replace from import file. I'll just um, I'll just select them. Uh, I can just leave them right there. I'll just uh, maybe select them, and uh, if I scroll down here, I'll be able to see uh, some details regarding that. And if I want to replace, you can replace all, but uh, I don't need to replace them. I want the same thing, same same thing comes in as a whole. So I'll go ahead and click continue as well and give you some time to load everything into Commerce's working area here. So from Commerce's here, you can also redevelop the, the model that you had created or you, 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 you had received from Tecla structures and you'll be able to create some drawings here because uh, Commerce's and Tecla structures, uh, they go hand in hand in, in, in modeling complex models. And uh, maybe the tools available in Tecla structures might not be uh, comfortable or to you, and maybe you are you are conversant with, with commerces, and then you can do so by bringing in the model from the Tecla structures. So you work on it from this area. So there's some importation that has failed. So we have some here, and some have been imported. So I'll close this. I'll close this. I'll close this so that we have a look at our model that we have just imported. So if I zoom close, let me just zoom close, and we have the model in place. We have this model in place. And it's kind of juggled up. And uh, if, we, if we take a closer look here, you can see we have so much to see, uh, of which some are, are just unnecessary, and, but we can disable them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just pick any part there and I want to rotate our model. Let me just rotate the model. So I have the model in place here. So let me just make our, 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 our model look uh, more, more, more cleaner. And let me just disable some, some, some parts of the model, like uh, points. You don't need the points at, at the moment. If I come here and I, uh, just click on the joints right there, I'll disable the joints right there. Let me just click on the joints, and the joints will go. And uh, we don't need uh, we don't need cuts here. We don't need points. Don't need points right there. So I'll just click on the points. We don't need cuts. 
So if I click on cards, you will get rid of the cards. So there is no uh, connection model macro here because this is an importation. So if I if I rotate this in commerces, I'll be able to see this uh, from the bottom end here like that. You can see that. And also we can also, so we have the full model here. So we have some parts not appearing, but that should not be a uh, worry. And uh, we've brought in, in here for further development. So I have these in place and it's, it's almost 100% complete, almost 100%. So from here you can go further and redevelop it uh, as a commerce model. So that's all about the inter interoperability uh, between Tecla structures and uh, commerce, how the two, co two softwares communicate, although both are giants in uh, in uh, detailing and um, most of commerce is, uh, is all in one uh, as compared to the structure. So, so let's. Uh, I hope you try that and uh, let's meet then and bye bye. The next will the next topic we'll be handling is uh, uh, the inter how the technical structures communicate with with uh, SketchUp and how you can use uh, how you can further. Uh, create some elevations from the Tecla structures model uh, within a SketchUp, uh, SketchUp environment. Bye-bye and let's meet then. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and bye-bye uh, once again. Mm -hmm.